Basketball World Cup to 2018. Latvia and China face off. We're in Tenerife, Santa Cruz to Tenerife. And the Latvian fans, you can see, are here in numbers as Latvia take their bow in the finals of the World Cup for the first time. I'm Mark Carvin, this is Teresa Bradlova. We're with you taking action from this venue. Here's the schedule in the Latvia and China. And then later on today, the USA, the defending champions face Senegal. Two of four games in a great day of action here on day one of the World Cup. Here is Grim D with Latvia, USA, Senegal and China. There's the FIBA World Ranking, the number one team in the world for USA. Latvia at 26, Senegal at 17 and China at 10. And we'll get to talk about China a lot as we build out this game. It's an, it's an exciting time for Chinese basketball as some of the most talented youngsters take their bow on a world stage. Individual player introductions. Uh, Teresa, if you've been in a world championship, you know what it's like. Day one action must be nerve wracking for these guys. Absolutely. Uh, day one is always uh, full of expectations, let's say, and, and see how the team's going to turn out. Obviously, that's the national anthem of China, the March of the Volunteers, and here is the Latvian national anthem.
Oh, national anthems in national team competitions are emotional at the best of times. But before a World Cup, there's just always that added extra dimension. Players exchange the mementos of the occasion at half court. Going to look at the third team that is on the floor for this uh, afternoon's uh, oh, late morning game. The three officials, Mr. Conde, Anaya, and Forsandis from, from Spain, Panama, and Greece, respectively. Their team were as important as the other two teams on the floor. But that's probably and hopefully the last time we're going to talk about the referees because they are some of the best, so we never get to talk about them again. Teresa, what do you expect? China, obviously this roster, young, yes, but exciting. Yeah, and plus uh, we see the size uh, within the team of China, and I think that's going to be definitely the strong element in this game because uh, if China is smart at, at, and at this level, the scouting has been done properly, they probably will use the inside game a lot. Uh, against Latvia. Well, here's the starting lineup, and uh, as we spoke about earlier on, uh, Lee Ru is uh, just a phenomenal talent. The number 14, 19, and she has just had an, an amazing Asia Cup, as we can see the stats there. An 18.2 efficiency, 17 points, almost a double double as a 19 year old in a senior tournament. That this, she is just a prodigious talent. It's going to be fascinating to see if she could be the spark to get some momentum for a young team. Going to get to look at the Latvian roster. Experience is the key word, right? Absolutely. They have one of the oldest players at this tournament, uh, Gunta Basko, 38 years old, uh, as one of you mentioned. Obviously, throughout their roster, they have loads of European experiences in the highest divisions, so that could definitely play in their favor in this game. Well, there you can see the starting lineup of uh, Elena Dialaku. Obviously married since Eurobasket, obviously married life. Uh, has a good effect on her. She's had a marvelous season, and uh, but this year, this experienced player, Annette Steinberger. Look at those numbers from a Eurobasket. Double double across the tournament. Tremendous. Yeah, and we know. I already mentioned earlier that she has been the second best rebounder of uh, Eurobasket uh, last year, and that says a lot because she she doesn't belong to the tallest player at the tournament. She has 190, but still. The attitude, the, the hustle she shows during the game definitely carries the Latvia on her back. So, on the other hand, we can see uh, now a coach of Chinese team, uh, Li Min Chu. He has joined this team last year, so um, we will see what strategies these, the coach is going to come up with against Latvia. Well, Martin Zaiba is a very, very experienced coach, but as we said before, Teresa, this is their first time in a World Cup championship and as much as it and whatever experience you have nothing can prepare you for a world cup you've got to get out there but the other thing that as we said the chinese team has not they're young they have so much talent and the thing that people always say about young players is they're normally fearless are they going to be fearless in a world cup it's going to be a great opportunity to see if they are yeah that's a good question because uh, the young age can play against them as well as you said the world cup is quite specific tournament which they came into this tournament with. Well, once every four years, you have the opportunity to play in the World Championships. That moment is uh, seconds away for these two teams. And I, I've said it already, I'm just fascinated to see how this Chinese team actually performs at this level. And it will be China to get a first look at it down the floor. Expect them to try and spread and leave some space on the inside. Five guys outside the keyway. First possession. Skip pass to the weak side. He's got a deflection. And the ball 
will be turned over and Latvia already making a statement with their defense. Yeah, and that first offense could show us uh, that uh, China is a bit nervous at the beginning of this tournament. They have a strength down and none players has been packed down in the key. Yeah, Latvia. Steinberg outside settles for the three early. That's off offensive rebound. Is pulled in. Ball's turned over. Trying to recover. Chance to run. Numbers down the floor. And the ball's knocked away as they looked inside. Yeah, and that's what we want to see at, at this game. And um, obviously, Latvia needs to really fill the key to allow these easy passes under the rim. Well, you ran the floor so well. Two meters, 19 year old for Yuan Dong. Went baseline to baseline faster than her opponent. Latvia fortunately get the deflection of China on the end line. Yuan Sen goes up, doesn't make the two. Yuan Yu has a chance to push, gives it up. Ball's deflected, looked like a double touch, but uh, the referee was in a much better position than I am, so sideline possession. And I can oh, assume, but I, I can assume that Latvia is going to try to really run the fast breaks against Chinese team as well because uh, they are with the size they are a bit slower. So let's see if they're going to aim like every offense to run that break. Foul line jump shot is long and no good. Defensive rebound is uh, pulled in by Yuan. Gives it up against China. Great trial, wide open on the foul line. Great execution, but. Uh, Yuraku inside, deflection, turned over, chance for China again in transition. They're going to have to take a look in the half court again, and second trial. Four on the inside, throws up a tough one, gets her own rebound, stays with a play off the glass, the two is good. And the youngster shows you why she is talked about as some of the best talent in world basketball. First shot, looks a bit heavy though. <laughs> Finally it happened, so hopefully now the nervosity is going to be gone soon and now uh, we'll see exciting basketball. The basketball is the reversal, foul away from the basketball. And I've got to say I'm quite happy if I'm a Chinese fan to see the physicality that uh, Jie Xian put on the floor. Jie Sen off the ball, you see, she wasn't going to get taken out on that back screen. Good sign about the physicality, good execution by Latvia. Giliaku puts it on the floor, goes left off the glass. The two is good. How quick is that first step? That has been a bright penetration. Very smart move from uh, Elena Dielaku. Goes to the hoop, is fouled, L1. Well, we saw the penetration at the other end. Uh, Li Mieng put it on the floor, went strong, protected it so well, went with the left hand off the glass. Vesco fouls are fouls are hard. We'll go to the free throw line for the extra. That's a great sign. Isn't it? Always good to see people go strong to the ring early. Yeah, aggressive, strong, uh, using their body to protect the ball. And uh, on the other hand, uh, Latvia didn't react uh, from weak side defense. They've been still standing there and uh, they would have to go deeper into the paint to cover these penetrations for the help. Ali Meng makes the extra try to have the nice five two start. Stops, reverse it. Nina goes inside out, sets the ball screen. Yelaku puts it on the floor, open in the corner. Penetration for the top two is no good. And China just about recover it. Rosenberger almost went after her own shot. Yulan comes off the screen, gets a look at the three, turns it down. Mm. Great seal, but she couldn't hang on the pass. Was probably over the wrong shoulder. Yeah, uh, the position has been excellent. There's been no help. All the other Chinese players has been uh, on the perimeter to just isolate uh, Li Yeru. Uh, two went a begging, just went to the wrong hand. Difficult start, obviously, for both teams trying to get some offensive rhythm. Vasco has it in the post, goes and kicks. Yelaku with the three is short. 
great work on the grass. That's a tremendous offensive rebound by Putnina. Rosenberger goes inside, Putnina gets, goes up in strong traffic, but can't make the drop. And Yuan has a chance to get China going again. That's going to be an offensive foul. I'd like to see it again. I'm a big fan of, big, of the post player putting their body on the front of the ring. Steinberger, I think, I think uh, Steinberger took uh, Lee Yuru to school there a little. Yeah, and uh, we already spoken about the Latvian team is more experienced, and obviously this was a play of experience. This was a play of the experience. You know, she knew she was in a position. She used her elbow, so Steinberger showed that to refs. Substitution, trying to get a little bigger as Han steps in. Steinberger with the run off the glass for two. Stayed with the play so well. And as you mentioned already, Mark, uh, before Steinberger is going to be a really key player for Latvia this tournament. Great job on Ooh. the glass. Han Tremendous offensive rebound, great touch on the putback for the two meter five. Big girl gets the defensive rebound. She is all over the stats line after coming off the bench. Yeah, and back to that player, uh, Tan Tzu. She's the tallest at this tournament. She has two meters, seven centimeters. Now Latvia definitely needs to box out. Well, the other thing that Han uh, demonstrates She's had great numbers in the under-17 and under-19 worlds last two times. And then she's obviously targeted athlete by the Chinese. She's doing a great job. Steinberg outside, puts it on the floor, goes left, off the glass. But nice. two is good again. There's so many ways to finish. Yep. Great, great, great penetration. China turned down the mid -range. Whistle and Kaliaku picks up the personal away from the ball. Yeah, you don't want to let the Chinese player to run through that paint. Uh, and obviously, at the beginning of the tournament, you're always testing um, how much referees allows in terms of contact. Well, Diaku picks up foul number two on that graphic. China will work it. Penetration back to the same side off the glass. Can't get the drop. Defensive rebound. That's the uh, Kikita comes down with a strong rebound. I thought it was only one foul. Just to correct that. That is Neil Akim's first foul. The front is just a little bit quick, should we say. Aska, whose instant offense comes up short. Low. That's a hole. That's Laska gets pulled on the wrong side. Mismatch. Real, very, very good and recognition by China in the half court. And this this Chinese team looks different. Has a different feel. Lots more emphasis on penetration. Less emphasis on looking to stretch the ball with a three. And with the size they have, that's no surprise. Yeah, and uh, we already said that it's going to be probably their game to play inside most of the game because uh, of the size. And they do it. They do it. Great little drive. Oh. The two is good. CU gets the two. Long CU. That's got a little hesitation. Turned over. And yet another positive stat for Zhu. Penetration, far side of the Ooh. ring is good. I'm loving this Chinese team start. Yeah. So aggressive. Defensively turning their defense into points. 11-6, 425 the only one. Let's go. They're going to need the experience. Now that we have spent some time with the basketball. Steinberger puts it on the floor. Looks at that baseline penetration. Nice find. Dialaku for three is off. Great box out. China have a chance to run. Wang Cu has a look, slows it down, finds that second trail. Three's gone. It's off. And the ball will belong to Latvia. Yeah, what I also like 
Malcolm Chinese team that they have that variability. They can penetrate from the perimeter and they also can play inside, which is really tough task for Latvia to cover. So, the other thing I like here too is this Chinese team plays with a smile. Yeah. They're out there enjoying <laughs> each other, enjoying sharing the ball, the break, a lot of smiles. They look like they're very, very comfortable with their group. And that's nice to see it at young players, to be honest. They're, they're not getting carried with the older players, but they bring the energy oh. to the team. Lina doesn't get it, got a whistle on the play. Foul in the rebound situation. There's the penetration. And there's the, you can see the hold as uh, one see you. Pressure on the inbound. But Lina has a lead to pass. Alaska. That's a great defense from China. Ah, he's short. Great work on the grass. China, chance to run. No points for uh, two and a half minutes for Latvia. They look skip. Penetration. Li Wu puts mm. it up. Knocks it down for two. Yang Li Wu. Such a danger, too, to switch strong uh, and weak side so quickly as they did. They did two skip passes. Open shot, right? Alaska. Move it on, it's over. The long three is, is long. And great work by the Tola on the glass. Goes an inside out. They go with horns, they're going to get the high screen with the 14 reset. Gonna have to take the long two. His long defensive rebound is collected by China. And there's a foul on the plate. And Pulvera, it was enough. It stopped the break. Didn't need to go for the reach. Give up an unnecessary foul. Yeah, exactly. It's like backward, and you, you, you don't really want to foul in there, the tallest place. I know you want to hustle and steal the ball, but you need to be smart and manage your fouls. China has uh, shouting since. The early three, one pass into the three is good. And the away gets the three. Timeout, Latvia. That's a phenomenal start by China. Latvia needs to talk it over. Absolutely. Uh, quick five points from Yang Klivei. Great change of rhythm uh, within the Chinese team. They do run fast break. They do penetrate for perimeter. They do play inside. As you said, Latvia has things to talk about. Well, all we were thinking about the game uh, as we were building up to the start, you would have thought Latvia would have wanted to push, wanted to try and spread and penetrate and stop them, is the Chinese defense has really contained the penetration. Steinberg got a two, the, the Galani got a two, but apart from that, they can't break down this Chinese defense. And on top of the good perimeter defense, there's two meters five coming over the block. Yeah, and you can see it on this percentage of, from the field. Uh, Latvia shooting 20% so far. And uh, they do try to penetrate, but you need to have action before that penetration to make the Chinese big to step out of that pain. So then there's a space for the penetration. You don't want to just take a ball and try to penetrate under the Chinese big players. So right now, definitely Ch Latvia needs to rethink a bit the strategy, start to run the quick breaks again, try to make the Chinese players move out of the pain. Because right now they don't shoot well, so they need to still keep aiming for their penetration, but after action. Yeah, that's very, very true. It's, you always want some reaction from your timeout. You wanna, I don't know if you need the long three after two passes, but that's what Latvia settled for. Yeah, and that's what we need to give uh, Laksha, because she was shooting 47% from threes at your basket, so she is the shooter of this team. Left hand off the glass, they don't get the drop. And there's going to be an offensive foul as Hans Hu, well, a loose ball foul, Hans Hu went over the back. Yeah, but um, I don't know, Mark, you, but I see that Latvia doesn't have any weak side defense so far. They do, China still penetrates quite easier than they're supposed to. I, th I, th I think it's largely they just don't, do not want to help off the big, so mm. we'll see how they deal with that as this progresses. 
Selina and Vitola combined. Vitola with a left hand drive off the glass for two. Can't get it to drop. China hunted down. Have a chance in transition. Well, they took a tough one and they bailed her out. Poor foul by Putnina. Yeah. Poor foul. Very. Uh, because Wang Xiu had nothing else to do with the ball. Obviously, if she kept her hands up, she would block easily a shot or and allow her score. The Yuru steps back into the game. They have a great combination rotation-wise here with uh, Li Yuru and uh, Hang Xu. They don't lose you know, two meters and two meters five. You know, you're not really, there's not a lot of change out of that. Yeah. And, uh, building teams from the inside out. China have, uh, have done something here that they really should be positive about going forward. But let them go forward positive around this championship. Uh, rebound for Vera has a chance to push. Vera outside settles for the pick and pop is short. And at the moment they just can't buy a basket. There's a stat 10-0 from the bench. Nice pass, great change of action. And there's your weak side help. Well, Vera has a chance to push. She has numbers. Goes herself in the lane. Doesn't really give Nina a decent pass. If she's fouled on the way up, she'll go to the free throw line. But there's your weak side help. Yeah, that's the weak side help. And to be honest, I like Chinese rotation because they communicate really well defensively. Uh, they try to unallow those mismatches. If they're on the weak side, they try to get back to their players. Really, really exciting to see in this young team. Well, 17-6. It's been a very, very dry spell. Over four minutes without a point. Oh. Finally. Put Nina breaks that. Will be in playing in the Liga Femenina in Spain this coming season. And they're going to enjoy her contribution. Those two, two for the line. And we can see full good pressing right now. From I want one of those hats. <laughs> I want that. I want that ice hat. 17-8. Oh. China have the lead and the basketball. Yang Yu. Side, goes inside, beautiful pass. Can't make the finish. Li Yuru. So the hands off. Alaska stops, fires it up. Instant, instant off to Kelly Alaska. Lining it up in the NCAA in South Florida. Lining it up here in Tenerife with uh, that threat penetration. Pulls up, way short. Probably the first forced shot that China have taken in the whole corner. A little yeah. early, no real rhythm. Comes up short. Yeah, but well we can see that uh, Latvia forced China right now into these shots because they put the pressure on them a little bit, trying to play full court defense and uh, and allow them to create easily. Last 10 seconds of what's been a fascinating first quarter. Veselina has it. This handle is nowhere to go. Oh, great run. Mm. The on the inside, and they're not going to get it away. Going to wipe that off. Yeah. <laughs> but we can't blame her because, <laughs> you know, she was there under those two towers. So <laughs> it was probably the only thing she could have done. But, uh, yeah. Wow, that's a great, great first quarter for China. They need it, 17 to 10 at the end of one. Not for that we talk about.
That combination of the more experienced players and the exciting young talent uh, with the size they have within their roster. Definitely, definitely a great future for this team. Well, these highlights of that first quarter. The penetration. This is, this is Xiao Ting going to work with a left hand over Vitola. Great protection of the basketball. Tremendous start by China. Latvia have it. Start of the second quarter. Christina outside, goes down low. Vitola inside out. Laska puts it on the floor. You just have to guard her. Nice ball movement. Better ball movement by Latvia. That's what it's about for them. Vitola gets the two off the glass. But a tremendous ball movement. Yeah. And great read as well because uh, she has right after that screen that the big player is going to be slow to block that shot. So, right here. Physical at the start of the second quarter, double team comes, nice pass. Mm. Gonna have a hard ball, the ball going back to China, but it's only 4.8 seconds on the possession, so they're gonna have to get something out of bounds here. Yeah, that has been great doubling from Latvia, great hustle defensively at the start of the second quarter. But uh, and you, you, if you can see the Chinese bench like we can. Coaching staff, yeah, you're two meters five. Why do you want to play at one meter five? The ball by your waist, keep it up, be strong, go through that contact. You now they're going to get something. 4.8 seconds out of bounds. One of those moments in a game where you want a bit of momentum. China score, they get momentum. That way, stop them, they got the momentum, start the second quarter. Nice little read, nice pass. Gonna have to put it up. Mid range jump shot is off. And that way, get the start. That's got pushes. Transition looks at her options. Press to the hoop for two. Tremendous start by the to start the second quarter. Yeah, we see Latvia gave a bit blood, a bit life into their blood um, during that break between the first and second quarter. They're coming out with the pressure, full court, great defensive rotations, help, trap. Um, I'm really pleased to see it, Mark. Steps back in from China. He trusts his players. He's not going to take the time out. He makes a, he makes a rotation change. They're going to spend time with the basketball. He's got outside. Mr. Polks doesn't get the time. They look high low. Wow, mm. uh, shot. Rotation is good. Steinberger pushes. Whole tempo stepping up here for that one. The and that's the game we want to see from Latvia to create, to react to Chinese defense. Well, Kelly is going to sit as uh, Elena Dicky Raku steps back in. It's been the heart and soul that's not been taking the last few years. She's had some injuries. When she's in the lineup, this team is so, so threatened at the offensive end. Steinberger goes right in the lane with a tough one off the glass for two. And she is already picking up where she left off last year and here last year. Yeah, indeed. You can see it since first, second, that uh, she's going to be a great key player from Latvia. Shelting backs it out. That's a tough move. Yeah, and I think um, Elena Tukelaku picked her second foul. Xiao Ding reads the defense well on that penetration. That has been like uh, three times we've already seen her on that aggressive penetration to ask for the foul at least. 
one of the more experienced players on this Chinese team that needs a lead, by example, and yep. decision making and everything else. And she changes the rhythm offensively within the Chinese team. Well, she goes two for two from the line, and China really needed that to settle them down a little bit, start the second point, because that could have come out with a real change of emphasis defensively so much stronger. Here's uh, with the basketball, has nowhere to go, gives it up. Early release on the three is no good. Steinberg is all over the glass. And it, it's one of those things you should be tempted, but turn it down. But total was open, but no way I'm getting to the ball. Yeah. Should have yeah. just said, hey, we've got a new 14, it's working. Yeah, and it's even worse, because it's been, it's been great offensive rebound from Steinberg against three Chinese players. Selfish and tried to give it up, but uh, almost turned it over. Substitution coming in for uh, China. Sun Meng Lan checks it. Uh, high speed, that uh, high low option. Very effective. Inside, outside for three is good. Great kick, great kick. Find the open player. You recognize you have three defenders. Defenders just kick the ball out. Well, there has it in the half court. Steinberger at the elbow. Steps back, takes the two and doesn't get it to drop. Defensive box out is solid. Some big brand has it. Far side of the ring, doesn't get the drop, but will go to the free throw line. And it's and again it, that penetration we've spoken about. She just frees it well. She changes rhythm. She goes that, I'm going to score or I'll be fouled. Oh, the foul's going to be called on uh, Digna Stadmane. Picks up her first personal substitution for Latvia. Brings uh, Aya Pudina back into the game. Shouts it on the free throw line again. Drops the first. It's almost like China of uh, steadying the ship after that challenge that Lambie put on them at the start of the second quarter. Yeah, they definitely adjusting their game to that pressure that Latvia did. And um, I was just about to say, when you have this pressure, make that extra pass. Uh, don't panic, don't make a quick one. And they've been reading it well. Steinberger drops it to the low post. Inside, outside, from Arnie for three. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. That's Ramani. Still yeah. only 20 years old. Another NCAA based player, two on one. Coming down the floor. Kiaglu with a shot for two is good. of their hustle and, and energy. To be honest, so far Latvia has been penetrating most of their game because they couldn't hit the long shot, but as soon as they start to hit the long shot, China needs to now react as well because they've been packing the inside of the key. And now the question is, is Latvia going to increase the percentage from the longer range of shots? Yeah, that's, that's your question. You, yeah. you mentioned earlier on about you know, teams that are scouted. China may have said, yeah, they're going to shoot a lot of threes. We don't think they're going to make enough. So, I mean, it'd be interesting because uh, Stratmane and uh, Latska in particular are going to give them instant offense, but do you change that after one lay three, or do you stay with what you believe? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I would give a go still to see if Latvia are going to carry uh, with the bad shooting, and then maybe change it. Who knows what the coach Liming Chu said to his players at this timeout. Try to beat the soft press with just a single pass. Last 
So the move for two gets a like soft roll. And so they blend. Kicks over the scoreboard. Hope to back out to a five point advantage. Six to go in the half. Oh, you know, well come started now. This game is coming alive in the second quarter. Nice. Look, but a little anxious was the pass, should we say, from Dignus Stavmane. Just threw it down there. It wasn't yeah. no, no confidence in the pass. Indeed, I'm more surprised that Elena uh, Di Kelako didn't take that penetration on uh, the tallest player at this tournament, Chang Chu. Um, down the gun with the defense, inside out, but a three is off. Offensive rebound, Xiao Ting, another positive stat. Great little move for two. Second move, excellent footwork, eight points personal for Xiao Ting. Got by the inside out, but the mid-range jump shot is long. Trying to have numbers. Four nice to travel. Okay, you're disappointed with the travel. But they ran the lanes perfectly. Yeah. Yep. No one better than hands you. The two meter five out in the wing, running the floor. The travel just stopped her. One of the highlights of the tournament, that would have been. <laughs> Absolutely, because you don't expect the tallest player in the tournament to be first in the breaks. Yeah, I'm on the screen. Up. A lot of offense on the floor for Lapu in the moment. Stramani gives it up. Steinberger, they offer the three, goes inside, little help comes. And when two meters five come, he knows she's coming. Great work on the offensive glass. Stramani comes up with the offensive ball. Kiriakou gets it. Has a new 14 and it's fouled. And that's just the world with great effort by Lapu. You need to grab the offensive rebounds against Chinese team. Um, and hustle and it gives them another option to score you know the game is still playable it's 21 to 28 you need these second offenses um. I don't think you ever leave Lat I don't <laughs> think you ever leave Latska alone. She's yeah. instant. She's a great shooter. Having 47% in your basket, that's just an incredible number. Steinberger goes to the right hand. Tough shot off the glass. Comes up empty. Trying to run the other way. It's three on three at the moment. Nice hand. Feedback comes up with a steal. But then she turns it straight back over. And Yang really Wei settles it down. Trying to get a full 24 in the half court. Two of the three is gone, is long. And trying to get another offensive rebound. Inside out. Four on the shot. Xiao Ting. Goes through, gets a wide open look. They're gonna wipe that off, I think. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see a uh, replay. Well, she goes oh, up. She is. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, you've got to say, yeah. as always, you've got to say, the referee <laughs> did the right thing. And, he, and the light, that's uh, again, so much easier when the light comes on. So. Unfortunately, it's an easy two, goes a begging. Yep. Last three, three and a half minutes of a half to go. Rivera moves it on. Katona goes down low to Steinberger, who gets to the middle, inside, outside. The three is gone, but Marty can't get it to drop. A three-point shooting, however much I think Lasker's a great shooter. Mm -hmm. That bit of home, it's absolutely killing and you can see um, Latvia is coming back to defense quite quickly to uh, protect that quick break uh, what China is aiming to running, but they have no one really for the rebound. Nice look. 
strong move. Mm. And the toll is going to take one for the team now. That's a great look from the perimeter. Lee Meng was open, but you've got to get it there. And with 1.7 on the possession, she stayed really focused, drew the contact, and will go to the free throw line. for their penetration because uh, Vise Pulver is one of the shortest players of the Latvian team and she still was able to penetrate all the way down. Fundamentals, great drive. Picks up the personal. And she, wow. she recognized there was no one from the weak side, so that's the best kind of situation, best time to go and penetrate. There was no help. So Vitola finds herself on the free throw line. Can't get that to drop. up into the line, but offensive work on the glass, that's uh, mm -hmm. Kelly Alaska comes up with it. Oh, pass, oh, Katola. Hard off the glass, four on three break. China in transition. They get an inside touch, they get an inside touch every opportunity. Sunbegin can't get it to drop. And Latvia to push themselves, it's over, on the end of the break, gets it in the corner, looks baseline, spins back to the middle, Steinberger lines up the three, drops it. Such important three, Mark, at this stage of the game. Inside touch. New men, moves it up. Goes baseline, extra pass, wide open from the three is off. China's all over the glass. Place to make space and puts it up. Lee Yu Wu just gets balanced, looks at the backboard, just takes the two. So the far side of the ring gets it to drop. Point game, 30, just over 30 to go. And the front cuts. Ball is deflected. Out of bounds. Will that be a, will that be a fans don't like that at 
at all, but uh, clearly deflected. Ten seconds on the possession. Substitutions coming in for Latvia. They're going to take uh, Kalyalatska out. They don't need her picking up a foul at this stage. Veselina's going to check back in as well for Latvia. China making substitutions at the same time. Jia Sen checks in. quarters of the first game of uh, basketball. Well, here's the confirmation of the halftime score. China had the 31 to 30 point lead over Latvia. Latvia trailed by as many as eight, closed it to a one point game, and it's game on for the second half. Gonna get a look at the stats in a moment. Here they are. And trees at that three from 13 is killing Latvia. But is that the real Latvia? Or is that a chance or it's decision for China they may come to regret in the second half. Yeah, well, we'll see the second half, but to be honest, uh, the percentage looks not as good, but those three threes, luckily I hit that second quarter, just really gave them that the life into their blood and changed the rhythm because China needed to react defensively to that as well now, because obviously as a player, so if you can hit quick threes, you will adjust, so you're going to step out of that pain a little bit. And uh, it, um, it basically gave Latvia space to penetrate. Well, it's been a marvelous opening to the World Cup. China have the one point lead. We're going to take a break. We're going to leave you some highlights of that first half. Uh, we'll be back shortly in the second half. In about 10 minutes, we'll see you then.
Well, there's a fascinating spectator as we welcome you back to Santa Cruz de Tenerife. It's Latvia and China at half time. And, well, we had to catch our breath, Teresa, because that game pretty much had everything. Had a great start by China, great comeback by Latvia, great plays by both teams. Looking forward to the second half. I would say great entertainment of this championship because <laughs> obviously it's a World Cup and uh, no one's going to give anything for free. And uh, it's exciting to see these changes within the first two quarters of the first game and the championship. Great, great, great. I'm exciting to see um, what's going to be the reaction of Chinese team on the Latvia hustle and aggressivity, double trapping, triple even sometimes. Um, and on the other hand, it will be nice to see if Latvia can um, carry on a whole game with that aggressivity because they started to play a full good pressing as well. A trap, it's quite a physical game to be honest and uh, they should be still fresh um, at the beginning of the tournament. Really, really exciting half ahead to see what this game has to offer us. I, for me, I, I'm so impressed with the way that, that, that China has so many weapons, they have, they, they're trying to play in the, in the right way and trying to exploit what they have. It's, can they, do they have enough experience? That's, it's always that balance between talent and youth and experience. And I thought they could have had, they, they maybe missed an opportunity in that first half to have a, a bigger lead. They turned the ball over 10 times. That's not a number, they, they cannot turn it over another 10 times and win. If they do, then it means Latvia are shot poorly. So those two things are going to balance themselves out. Yeah, and also, uh, with their size, they gave up eight offensive rebounds. You know, like Latvia, eight offensive rebounds. We knew that they go for every ball, especially Ahmed Steinberger. And uh, now they really need to start to box out the Latvian players and fill the pain because all they pl Latvia played was the penetrations kick. And now second quarter, we've seen a couple shots to be hit. So the question is, is the Latvia going to now follow this percentage they've had in the second quarter or they're going to come out again the short from a parameter that's what we'll see and we'll find out in the second half well both teams really did rotate lineups well yeah a lot of people came in gave contributions from the bench uh, the surprising thing as i say for me is you look at that lineup in china they were going to go inside but they were very good at penetration the disappointing thing for Latvia is that they, 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 made, they missed shots you'd expect them to make. So if China don't turn it over, they'll be in a good shape. If Latvia makes more shots, they'll be in good shape. This one's going to go right down to the wire. Yep, and we'll find out this second half. Seriously, it's exciting time ahead uh, to see who's going to grab that first win in this first game of the, the World Cup. No one in any serious foul trouble. Uh, She's, uh, she has two, so there's, there's a little worry there because she's so important to this team, but they do have balance, they have rotation options. But this is just uh, set up great. But uh, if you were thinking, you know, how the Chinese team, all these new players, young players, were going to play, well, they answered that straight away. Yeah, we see um, Lick Sierra again uh, starting the second half and uh, we can assume that they're going to try to give her some balls down because uh, she, she was quite short second quarter of this game thanks to Latvian great defense. Well, welcome back. Latvia will have possession at the start of the third quarter. Pretty much the same lineup they started the game with. Steinberger cuts baseline wants it. Vasco has it on the outside, moves it on. Little flare screen, lines up the three from the corner, is short. Battle on the glass, someone's holding someone. But that means no one gets a foul. Steinberger will move it on. Yelaku penetrates. Off the glass, doesn't get the drop, but draws the contact. Takes a little blow to the head. And again, that was another offensive rebound for Latvia and uh, gave them opportunity to score or be aggressive into the hoop again. And uh, that ended up with uh, Elena Tikelaku with two free throws. Ties the game at 31 with 9.31 to go in the third. We've got a new ball game and chance for Latvia to lead. 
they do. Another little test for China. Always interesting to see how a young team responds to this type of situation. They play great at this level. They've got to play great for the whole game. Put it up there to take the three deep on the possession. There's a battle for it on the glass. Everybody's on the floor. Latvia come down with a great effort. Kaliaku gives it up. Whoop. Messi, to say the least. Ball will stay with Latvia. Like, if you don't know what to do with the ball, give it to Steinberger, and uh, she's going to be definitely dangerous. Oh, she's having a great one already. Double-digit points. Yuan goes high on the pass, pulls knocks away. And we're going to have a jump ball. Ball will stay with China with only eight seconds on the possession. And China have got, a, have got very static at the start of this third quarter. Everything's a little bit pedestrian-like in the half court. They're going to go to rotation again to see if they can inject some tempo. But uh, I think you've got to credit Latvia's defense. They've just contained them. Yeah, I was just about to say, great move from Cote Bars to stay in that full good pressing to keep challenge. Uh, Chinese offense doesn't give them any spare space to feel comfortable on the court. And with the young team, that's, that works. Oh, that's another 24-second violation. That's the third 24-second violation for China in this game. So that will turn the screw. Relentless with their defensive effort. It's like a home game for that here. The crowd <laughs> is almost exclusively. Yeah, I'm not sure if people can see, but that board of color is all over this arena today. Blocked. Unceremoniously blocked on the penetration as Lee Yuru came from the weak side and just said, Not in this house. Yep. This belongs to me. There you go. Schneiberger outside, seven on the clock. They go inside. Undebasco, nice back cut. They turn it over. China have a chance to run. But uh, again, defensive transition for Lambia is. Exceptional. Great defense over Damasco. That's why at 38 years old, she is still in this lineup. Yep, she loves this game, definitely. She can be aggressive as well. And you know, all the players usually are the ones who kind of lead the younger ones, but she's perfect fit to this team. Shouting, trying to pick up where she left off. Nice lob, should be two. They take the foul. Steinberger takes one for the team. Yeah, and that wasn't even Steinberger's rotation because she was defending the player on the strong side and someone on the defense from the weak side has a little bit overslept. I think if I'm correct, it was uh, I think not a clue. Yeah, she didn't drop enough for that lob pass, so um, they need to read it. It's spacing though by China to make it hard. as well uh, it comes to those experiences you Mark mentioned earlier Latvia is experienced team they did play big games already yeah to the back of the two what's the foul She's so much emotion trying to move on shouting on the spin takes the tough one great work on the glass Lee has it knocked away by Wimabasco 
And the foul is called. She's replaced by Hang Zhu. Yeah, and again, it comes to that aggressivity of the Latvian defense right now. Uh, great step up into third quarter. And plus, they force Chinese team already to 22, pardon, uh, to 12 turnovers. That's a high number. In the half court, we'll take the high screen from Basco, who picks and then has to. Laska picks it up. China trying to pick it up with a defense. Yaku finds Laska. Quick release on the three is off. Steinberger all over the stat line, but she turns it over. Chance of China in transition. Siku gives it up. They hit the second side. They can't go inside. That's great defense by Steinberger. Now they go back there. Xiao Ting, far side of the ring, is fouled, and Steinberger picks up two quick ones. That's a great battle down under the rim with uh, Steinberger and her player. It takes loads of power of the players as well to fight for the position in there. Steinberger picks up foul number two. They can't. I don't think they win with Steinberger gets into foul trouble because offense of the floor, she's just everywhere. Yeah, and we could see it as well from Coach Zibart that um, Elena Tukilaku had two fouls quite early in this game and she, he kept her on the court, so he trusts his players for sure to manage their fouls. to a two-point game, six to go in the third quarter. Yaku moves it on, Vitola hits the corner. Oh, Alaska does well to pick it up off of her. Lacey Steinberger. Oh. And that just confirms your words, Mark. Offensively, defensively. Wow, what a performance again from Steinberger. Oh, wide open, just lob it in. Easy two, it should have been a two and one. No help at all. Yeah, I wonder if it's a strategy of Latvian defense just to leave them uh, to be isolated and just leave it on the defensive player or that player who's battling for the position because we see it quite a lot in this game that there's no big sound defense on these low passes. So the question is, is it strategy, isn't it? Uh, it's a uh, great job in transition. As we said before, Hang Zhu runs the floor very, very well for it. 2 meter 5 player misses the first from the free throw line. Interesting time for China here. That will have the four point lead. Make that three. As Hanzhou goes to three points. Looks like she has more than three. Big influence on the game. Tabasco puts it on the floor. Nowhere to go. Yaku lines up the three. It's long. And Hanzhou comes down with a defensive rebound. Chance for China to tie it up. Inside option again. Oh, nice little ball fake. Double team comes inside, outside. They go back to the traffic. Wide open for three. Count it! And again, we could see the aggressive penetration for Xiao Ting. Uh, opening up her teammate on that three-point line. Yaku puts it on the floor, finds the corner. Good Tabasco. Steps out of bounds, I think. Yes, she mm -hmm. does. Side is, I thought fouled on the way up, but no call. And Vitola took a, yeah. a heavy blow on the move. Yeah, but it was worth possession for Latvia. Yeah, 
perhaps. And just on the way down, the toe mm -hmm. took a bang with the elbow. Wasn't anything intentional at all. Pressina checks in for Latvia. She's on the perimeter. Lines up the three. Is short. Defensive rebound is pulled in by Yang Li Wei. And second trail has been productive for China right. all night. Great move. Great good work, let's say, um, yeah. of this 26 years old player, Sun Ming Ran. Tempo just slowing a little. Not surprising with the way it's been. The three is gone and long. Solo on the baseline, great effort on the offensive boards, can't control it. Yeah, we've seen a couple long shots again from Latvia, um, last couple of possessions, so I'm pretty sure they should read a little bit better now and try to again move the Chinese players on defense, create, and then penetrate, change the rhythm a little bit. Speed the five second count. Again, they're just the woes from the three point line continue. 18% to <laughs> mid range. Sweet looking jump shot. Yeah, we could see that uh, Christine Vitola I was stepping back from her. She's not gonna shoot then. Bang. And she got that mid range shot. Christina moves it to the corner, hits it back. That's got Blocked. What a play. China in transition. Numbers down the floor off the glass for two is good. Latvia take the timeout. China respond to the Latvian pressure by going six up. Timeout, Latvia. A little bit to talk about. Yes, indeed. Um, now it has been great two minutes of Chinese team. Offensively, defensively. Uh, Latvia lost kind of that creativity they had that second quarter in this game. Points are always easy points, so China would be able to advantage on the fast break points. And you've got it, they're, they're, they're big, run the floor beautifully. Yeah, and that's what we mentioned at the beginning. It's quite surprising and nice to see young, tall players run the fast break and be the first players in there. It's just, um, even for the point guards, it's such great to see teammates running the break and have the, have the will to run it. Well, there's the block, and Laska just got lazy, just leant back on the three. She's not in the rhythm today, she's not. Chinese does a great job covering her shots, because all the shots she taken was a bit of force. It wasn't in her open positions. So you can see she's not in the rhythm, and she's forcing her selection of the shots. Well, Wang see you celebrating, enjoying the moment down the floor, as given China a six-point lead with 38 to go in this third quarter. Paul Vera in the game for Latvia. Lines with Kreslina down the top. In the second side. That's now puts it on the floor. Hits. Inside, outside penetration. Patoli puts it on the floor. Takes the tough runner. It's no good. Front of the ring. And China. Ooh. One of the drawbacks of being two meters five is that you get in the way sometimes. <laughs> yeah, 13 turnover of Chinese team. And, and these players smiling because they know, they it's know. Right. <laughs> it's a great reaction, though, that yeah. they can. Now it's, uh, this, team, this, this team has good spirit. That's a battle underneath. The battle is always around that inside area. Romane is the option on the inside on that occasion for Latvia. 2.55 to go in the third, and China looks to have steadied the ship. Oh, nice look underneath. Great follow on the glass, comes up short. 
Minnesota can't get it to drop. China finally come down with it. And Latvia missed three opportunities from two feet. Yeah, it wasn't even tough shots. It's like they need to score these options. Touch on the inside. Here's you again. Inside, outside, four on the club. The three is gone. Is long. Defensive rebound is pulled in. Chance for Latvia to run. They have numbers. Far side of the ring is blocked. Not in my house. Absolutely. That's what she would say. <laughs> Whatever get out of here is in Chinese. That's what would have been shouted right now. Get out of here. Yes. That's quite brave penetration from uh, Pulvera. Someone's got to explain what two meter five looks like. <laughs> and what it feels like while you're standing next to players this size. <laughs> got very, very dark on that penetration. Right. They go long out of bounds as Kreslina has it. Pulvera looks inside, so that doesn't get a touch. We'll have to pull screen. She picks a box. Pulvera for three is off. Great work by Batola on the glass. It's a war in there. I'm quite impressed from Vitola at this game, to be honest. She's really fighting there. She's pu she's putting herself into great positions. She's battling the, the size of the Chinese offense. Quite impressed today. When your offense isn't working as it is in Calabria. Yeah, and she also gets some precious minutes for Steinberger to rest a little bit because she needs breath as well. Vitola goes baseline, nowhere yeah. to go. Tough looking shot, no way was that dropping. Thanks to you, backs it out. Takes the wall screen, gets to the foul line. Inside out penetration. They take the three, is long. It's you, offensive rebound, little step back two, hits the front of the ring. Hmm. So that will bounce the bullet. And the total will reverse the basketball. Very, tries to turn the corner. Nice. Cool. Pick and roll action for two. That has been an excellent pick and roll. And such weak, weak defense from China. There was miscommunication on that screen, definitely. And no weak side help. Well, they she's not shy from the perimeter, is uh, Aang Xu. She may uh, have to explain that one to coach. Penetration for Tola, far side of the ring, great play. Tough move. Yeah, a couple more centimeters can make a difference for penetration. Christina uh, Matola used the ring to protect the ball. Inside, nice little spot out, Matola's everywhere. Comes up with a block, four or three plays, just find the open player, Pulvera pulls it out. Also be good and aggressive, nice pass, Matola the two. Christina Matola is taking over at the end of the third here, close into a two-point game. China will try and hold for the last shot, that'd be a foul, they're not in the penalty. This foul is quite unnecessary again because they could have saved that one foul to cut the Chinese offense. We have 11 seconds to go to the end of the third quarter. Um, been some personal battle between those two players. Um, nice substitutions for the last 11 seconds. Everyone trying to protect fouls and also look for a quicker lineup. That's all China's gone as small as it can go in this last uh, 11 seconds.
stats, Teresa, in the three from 19 is always going to jump out at you from the three-point line. And while they may have made some big ones, they're still missing a lot of shots from the three-point line. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And I think the, the hustle and the attitude they're putting into game just saving it a little bit. And, uh, you know, without a shot, you can't be winning the game unless you put that hard work in it, that hustle. And um, we've seen that because they're not playing now the nicest game or the, the most uh, successful game, but they definitely go for it and they're not giving up any minute of this game. Well, Alex Steinbarger, we talked about it at the beginning of the game, she had a great year of basket last year. She's carrying this team. Yeah, indeed. And she showed that since first minute of this game that uh, offensively and defensively, she's the most valuable player of this team. And um, even though I have to give a credit to Vitola, this um, especially second half of third quarter, that she gave Steinberg a couple minutes to rest. She replaced her, or she's been definitely like on the same level those minutes when Steinberg was off the court. Oh, here we go then. Start of the fourth quarter, locked up 44 apiece. A day one winning state for China and Latvia. And Latvia have come out. Mm -hmm. Offensive foul. Steinberger takes one to the to the face. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Well, Steinberger ran into the elbow. Yeah, it wasn't really like I was about to say that's when you have a tall player who has a short defender and they have a level of their face and their elbows, it's quite tough uh, for us to see if it's really intentional or not. So. Yeah, if, that was the, if that was the actual contact that was called, that's very unfortunate for, yep. for China. Freeze away, Stoudamani can't get it to drop. China come down with a defensive rebound. And they give it up down the floor, do a great job of releasing the basketball. Yeah, that's it outside. Xiao Ting gets to the ring for two. Off the glass with the left hand. Yeah, and uh, she's so strong into the, her strong left hand. Like, most of the penetration. I think I've seen her today just, just to go once into the right. And uh, she did draw a foul. Stomane, turnover. China coming up with a defensive place. Far side of the ring. They blow the layout, though. If you can't get a shot you want, don't take it. Miyalaku. Going baseline, needs a pass, just about finds one. Fermani spins in the corner, Dilaku for three. Out <laughs> goes. Third time in the game. Yeah, and to be honest, they every time hit the threes when they really need it in the game. So let's see again, we can expect now the energy coming up again. Full reversal, China wide open underneath, great Whoa. rotation by Steinberger. That was a great recovery. Poor pass, but great effort by Latvia to get back in the play. Steinberger deflects, nine seconds on the possession. It's nice to see when player can read and, and anticipate what's going to happen, because she knew the pass was going to go there. Take the quick one out of bounds. They had been there more time than that, they hit nothing. Pulvera pushes, Ooh. great pass, to the Basco! Excellent read from Pulvera, excellent read. Yuan into the half court. Oh, a little casual. That is time to get that run. Off the glass, can't get the drop, but Tina misses the little two-footer. Gets it into the half court. They want the hard post entry. Get the post entry. Nice seal. Traffic foul called. And it's Sebasco desperately trying to. Sorry, put Nina <laughs> desperately trying to take the foul. And yep. then in fact, the referee gives it a foul. Steinberger was in the vicinity. Steinberger fouled at first, and then the foul came across from put Nina. So yep. take, take your pick of who you want to put the foul on. You're right, and it shows how experienced the players are. No, it was my foul. I don't want my best teammate to pick her third foul early in this fourth quarter. Some big guy on the free throw line. They 
Let's go. Closer to a... Great stand, great defensive effort. We need to put it on the floor. China, Xiao Ting again attacks it in transition, drops it. They're going to look back to that post entry again. What a battle in the post. Oh, great little spin. Can't get the drop. What a move. Yeah. Beautiful little baseline move. If you want to work at, look at how to use your feet in the post, watch this play. China with a chance to retake the lead. Steinberger picks up third foul. That's a big play. Watch this spin. Great step. Gets to the far side of the ring. And all it needed was the finish. Yeah, excellent move. Seriously, as you mentioned, the footwork of this player is, is just amazing. We've seen her earlier this, this game running fast break and be able to stop from the full speed, turn back, and still keep the footwork on point. Wow. And then she ruins it by missing the first of the free throws. Summer Lang, England on the line. Just to tie the game. She is one of the three players who return in this Chinese team for, uh, who played last year the Women's Asia Cup in India. Step back for the long two. Oh, she's got some offense. Has some offense. And she needs these shots, she needs them, because as a shooter, if you're missing, missing, and then you hit one really good one you feel about, it could give you the feeling for the rest of the shots. Well, you're absolutely right. Scorers are scorers. You know, that, that's just not going to stop putting it up. The challenge is Coach Zibats. How long does he leave her? Does he trust her? Because she's going to look to score. Yeah, loads of players would my dad doubt themselves, but shooters never does. No. It's up to coach. Okay, you just coach decide decides if if he's going to keep her on the court. Of course, but she needs to do her job, which is shooting. Yeah, the Chinese are just questioning the score. It just took them a while to tick it over. And then they thought they got it wrong, but it's, the score's absolutely right. Well, 48. I'm not sure if you want to focus at this stage of the game on the score, even though obviously you need to protect your points, but you need to keep the hand into the game more. Colbert on the skip. Lansker again attacks it. Little hesitation. Spots in the corner. Colbert comes off the screen, and that's going to be a foul ball. And it looks like uh, Huang Xie, 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 Personal. Yeah, another returnee for Chinese team from last year. She averaged 12 to points per game uh, last year at the Asia Cup in India. Steps back in. It's kind of miscommunication defensively. Am I going to chase the player? Am I going to under? Um, Turnover. A little misunderstanding as uh, Dika Yaklu. And that's her fourth turnover in this game, which is quite high number for the point guard. Um. Eventually, the size and the inside focus of this Chinese offense beginning to pay dividends in the foul count. Xiao Ting on the free throw line. Stay on the line. You know, coaches will be pulling their hair out at home. Don't yeah. wander around on the free throw line. Stand there and shoot it. And China missed already seven foul line shots, which is a high number. They're shooting 65%, and this just confirms that. Make it eight. Three-point game, a crucial stat. Naku to the ring for two. Throws up a four one for Zona again on the glass. Blows the putback. Now needs to pass. Throws it out of bounds. And both teams are going to look at this tape regardless of 
who comes out and wins this at all. There was these moments. Yep. Just needed composure in these moments. Absolutely agree, Mark. And one surprising kind of number for me is, is the rebounds because Latvia is beating China so far, 40 to 33. Um, China gave up 16 offensive rebounds for um, Latvia to have a second possession, which is a high number. 16 offensive rebounds can give you many more opportunities to score. Xu has it high, sir. Uh, Xiao Ting spins. Oh, oh, oh. oh! That was another highlight move. 13 points personal for Xiao Ting. They turn that last on the handoff. See, it goes high. Steinberger, whenever you need something, go here. Off the glass, doesn't get the drop. What a rebounding effort. Tremendous work by Hang Zhu. China in transition. Need a pass, find one. Xiao Ting thinks about penetration. They hit the second trail again. That's a post entry. Great change of angle. Tremendous seal by Hang Zhu. Again, this point, they're beginning finally to wear down this Latvian defense on the inside. Another foul, more free throws. But they've got to make them. Yeah, that's a that's a point. Shooting 62% for the foul line shot is not the best. And to be honest, they keep missing by the by the game going. So uh, they were quite decent at the beginning, but now I don't know if the pressure will be getting to their heads and and uh, the percentage goes down. They need to definitely make these easier shots in the basketball. You never have a defense and uh, well, even Hang, the Hang Su's on the free throw line too. too. If anything, if, if she's, she's the one who's looked composed, but now it's an, another missed free throw. So La Latvia can't make it from the three-point line. China can't make a free throw. Yeah. The free throw is always, like, it's a major point in the games. You might won't see it too much because it's not so obvious, but then when you look at the stats and you miss, like, 10 points from the foul line, that could definitely um, start a game. Uh, new ball game, 4.50 to go, 51, locked together. Toe looks underneath, nice pass. Oh, nice look, poor pass. The three by Paul Berry is off. It's a battle on the glass. And that's a great effort. Tremendous effort with uh, Kreslina coming off the bench to get on the glass. Is it Kreslina or is it Putnina? Sorry, it's Putnina on the glass. In fact, I'll get it right in a moment. Brumane comes in and hits. It gets on the offensive board. So yeah, it doesn't matter who you are. That, this Latvian team is all over the glass. Exactly, and that, that's my point. Like they've already picked 17 uh, offensive rebounds. That just gives them so many more opportunities to score if the percentage is not as good. Wow. Oh, they, they almost had a five-second call and they give up a layup. Rivera gets the two. It's not Crestina. Rivera flashed to the basket. They get two. Inside, outside, extra pass, wide open for three, is long. Will they get oh. the roll? Oh. Yes, they will! <laughs> great ball movement from Chinese team right now. They recognize the extra pass. Great, great ball movement. Yang Li away, gets the three. China lead by one, four to go in the fourth. Umani. Rubera on the front cut, gets the help side, doesn't get the finish. Romani comes up with the offensive rebound, yet another one, but they turn it over. And someone's hanging on, we're getting in a foul. Mm -hmm. Romani picks up the personal, we're going to walk the floor for two. Wang Siu came up with a the steal. Yeah. The Latvian fans really appreciating that call. Not. <laughs> yeah, they know because every foul is now punished with a. Yeah. And Brumani may think she had the clean ball, but what is she doing reaching in this moment? And the Latvian bench is very disappointed by it. They're on the other side of the floor. They have no view of that play. Yeah, and you see the emotions on the bench now. Oh, this Chinese team yep. has it all. On the free throw line, chance to get double digit points for her country. More importantly, it would have given.
give her country a three-point advantage if she makes both. Knocks the first down for one down, looking confident. Goes two for two from the line. China have the three-point advantage. Substitutions. Well, Latvia come back with a lineup to finish the game. The Yaraku is in the game. Lansk has come back and Steinberg has come back. Pretty much the most effective lineup they can put on the floor in the game now. Yeah, we see China full good pressing now, trying to uh, put the pressure on Latvian offense right now. Laku has to think about the inbound, gives it up. A lot of players on this Latvian team have been very experienced in these time moments. Um, needed for three is off. Vitola comes up, get another rebound. The three going is long. What a oh. ball by Steinberger. <laughs> Take off. What a way off the ring. Gets up and rebounds it. And the Achilles heel for China is clear. Teresa, you've been talking about it the whole game. They yeah. cannot take care of the rebound at all. At all. Like, Latvia has almost the same number of rebounds offensively as defensively. That's just a crazy at this level. Steinberger going to work in the post. Inside, outside kick. Laxka shakes it with a head. It's off. And Port Nina goes to work on the glass. Another one, Mark. Another. If you consider they so far has 21 offensive rebounds, if you just consider 50, out of these thumbs, gets two points. That's just an incredible number. And obviously it replaces the low percentage yeah. of the Latvian shooting because if they wouldn't have these offensive rebounds, the game is completely a different story. Yep. Dina makes the first. Just to make it a one-point game with 3.17 to go. Soft roll. China take the timeout. With 3.17 to go, they lead it by one. And, and it's, it's one of those things, Teresa, for me, it, we could talk about, oh, they should do this, they may want to box out better. Forget all that. Just go after it. Just go after the ball as hard as your opponent, and you, you wouldn't have given up 20 on rebounds. But is this the fact, is this the one stat where the young, the, the, the age of this Chinese team on the inside is, is, is the factor? They've, they've got great potential. Maybe they don't have the physicality yet. It must be, definitely. And it shows in this game that it is, because we said at the beginning that Latvia has nothing to lose, but they didn't come just to take a part. And they proving in this game. They do prove it with the hardy putting into the game. You can see here the rebounds, 45 for Latvia. They beating China. China's 34, and that number, 21, 24, that's just something would is rare to see at this level. So um, we'll see what the result of this game is going to be, but it definitely is one of the major, major key points of this it, it does look like it, look like it looks like women and girls in <laughs> terms of the glass, physicality-wise, yep. for all the size and all the talent. And, and maybe it's one of those things you, you've got to leave uh, Han Zhu out there because she's doing a great job. But, like, let's put some experience out there. Let's put some physicality on the floor and let's get after it. Yeah, absolutely agree with that because the, the, the rebound is one of the fundamentals and it's just the number. Good rebounder has a really feeling in heart because rebound statistic is just about how much you want. Uh, in the half court, Xiao Ting has it. Wants the ball screen. Gets a little space. Foul line. Bounces inside. Zhu goes with a hook. Love it. You gotta love this kid. 18 years old, and she is putting it out there for her country. She makes it a three-point game. Yaku looks to the wing. Latska, offense coming. There's the tough shot on the baseline. A little indecisive. Xiao Ting in transition. Watch out if she decides to penetrate. Needs a pass now, though. And China will kick it and start again in the half court. Lead by three with two and a half to go. Yang Li Wei has it, will take the ball screen, looks to turn the corner. The down's got to put up the three, is long, and there's a foul, holding foul on the glass. 
And then Shiny will go to the free throw line. Latska picks up her third personal. Yeah, Alexa's definitely not in her rhythm in today's game, and uh, I'm pretty sure coach recognizes it now, taking her off, because uh, Pulvera has been impressive for Latvian team so far. She's uh, delivering to her teammates. She has uh, five assists so far, and um, obviously we see that Elena uh, Dikeliku is not as effective as it normally is for this team. Oh, so. yeah, another free throw goes begging for China. This one's important. This will make it a two-possession game. And goes 0 for 2. Almost get the offensive rebound. But two very simple parts of the game. Making free throws and getting rebounds are just destroying China's hopes here. They still lead by three. Yeah. <laughs> Two incredible statistics, rebounds and free throw shots, and, and the game is still quite close. Kriyaku gives it up, gets it back, puts it on the floor, stops, pops the two, is good. These are the moments that she's made her reputation on. Drops yep. the two, trails by one, under two to go. Wang gives it up. Yang Lingu goes inside with a pass, easy two. Sun Milan, Meglan knocks down the two, eight points personal. She could have had, she could have had 16 points. She's missed so many from the line. It's oh. all inside out. And there's a blocking foul. Steinberg is going to go to the free throw line. Well, we have to give the Chinese team that last three, four possessions, they really played with work. You know, they used their picks in the low block and they gave them those passes to the right position uh, so say they could draw the fouls or score. Steinberger knows the rules, I think. She hadn't been given the ball by the referee. She'd walk to the free throw line with it, gives it up to the referee to get it back. It's usually a habit for the players, yeah. you know. <laughs> you have your rituals, you have Ooh. your habits, and you want to have them. Well, I wasn't having that down. <laughs> Steinberger's been in this situation so often, but stats and experience almost mean nothing at this point. 134 to go, and she just about makes a second. It's a two-point game. China two up with the ball with 1.30 to go. It's quite impressive and it was her first two following shots at this game. Uh, which doesn't say much because she has been so dangerous to, to offensively in this game. That is a crazy foul. Vitola stepped out to show hard, which was smart. That's not a problem. But then she tries to reach for the ball. Like steps out, why, why reach? Yeah. You know, the step out would have really given China, the hard show would have given them a problem. The reach bows them out. Hey, but they can't make a free throw. Send them there every time. Yeah, indeed, because you can see the uh, positions of the feet were great. They were on, in the way of the players, so no need to reach at all. You have sold the right mark. Shouting misses the first. But that's the thing. <laughs> they know they're well, missing, so... <laughs> you may as well foul China every time. They're more liable to score from the, from the field. They get an offensive rebound at their own. Xiao Ting has it. Puts it on the floor. Big second step for two. Big, big play by China on the glass. Xiao Ting with that left hand layup gives them a two possession lead. 62 58. 115 to go in the fourth. Timeout, Latvia. Yeah, it's a shame to see because I'm pretty sure that Latvia has scouted uh, China as well. And. Uh, Xiao Ting really uses her left hand so much in this game and if they just force her to spin into the right hand, who knows, there could be help, the percentage could go down, but she's such dangerous for the penetration to the left side. Wow, 29 free throw attempts for China. That's what size does, you know, it forces the team to foul you. But she's shooting 16 from 29. It's, it's somehow... Having given up offensive rebounds and missing free throws, they still have a four-point lead with 115 to go. And you have to put that down to just Latvia's inability to shoot the basketball. Let's call it first game of the championship. <laughs> That's what we've spoken about, Mark, at the beginning. Like, what, what will we expect from this game? Yeah. You know, crazy things are happening. Basketball. <laughs> yeah. Championship basketball puts Indeed. a little pressure. They make half of those missed free throws. They lead this by 15 points. Yeah. Then again, 
Latvia make half the shots they've missed there in this game as well. So Latvia will have possession of the ball there, advancing. That's what you already mentioned, Mark. Elena Dikaku knows when to step up. She doesn't have to have a best game, but those moments, uh, those are hers. That's what makes her reputation. Oh, great little baseline screen. Xiao Ting throws up an air ball from two feet. And let me have a chance to tie or lead on this possession. Yeraku is fouled. And I have to say, that contact has been going on all game. And just because it's the last 50 seconds of the game, maybe we don't need to call it or call it at the beginning and it doesn't happen. That is, that's standard for the game. Yes, indeed. But what matters, Elena Tikoko, two fouling shots right now. And this is, again, her moment. You Player, have, you players have a, always do. These are the players who come to play at these moments. Thank you. I was just about to say, you have a player who loves these tough moments. But, but, uh, uh. but they miss, but again, an offensive rebound. Bielaku gives it up. Put Nina. They go down low. Steinberger gives it up. Bielaku, her time, gets inside. Left hand, he's blocked. Four on two break, four on three break for China. Do they want to run it or keep it? They go inside to the high post. Son, Bing Ran goes off the glass, they get a piece of it. And there's about a two second differential. Iliaku has it. Baseline needs a pass. Rivera inside, outside, but Nina thinks about it. They had open looks and they decided to run the clock. Rivera wraps the pass. Latska just about recovers it. Five on the possession, takes a tough one. Trying to get the rebound. Latska fouls. China will go to the free throw line with 2.4 to go with a one point lead. Oh, uh, it almost seems like Latvia wasn't sure. Should they run the clock or should they just go and get a quick break? And uh, then the ball ends up to the hands of the player who's not in the rhythm in the game. Uh, that was a tough last well, offense, or, or sec before last offense. Yeah. I'm always one of those people, Trees, that if you've got a shot in that situation... Just go get it, take yeah. Take the shot, because you, you, you try to use the clock and end up with nothing. And that's what exactly happened. You know, and, and China find themselves where they don't want to be almost, on the free throw line, to actually, if they make both, they lead by three. We've seen games like this. We've seen China's really poor from the foul line shot. If she's going to miss two, 2.4 seconds is still a lot to try and score. Well, Lei Wei, Lei Wei is one of their better free throw shooters. If you could pick someone, you'd probably, she'd be right up there. She makes the first. This to make it a three-point game. Latvia have the timeout. They're probably going to take, obviously going to take it if she makes it. They take the timeout. China lead by three. Latvia have 2.4 seconds to take this to overtime. Yeah. What do you do? <laughs> we will see what coach uh, Sipor is going to draw. No, but what would you do? <laughs> what I would do, I would definitely go through uh, some action uh, screens where, where the other team's going to least expect it, but they need to go for the threes. So uh, obviously China's going to switch everything. So use the screener to just step up and, and try to get the shot. So put the player to screen, the one who can read it, and just be quick to, to get on the three-point line and score. We'll see. And China with a three-point lead, they could just foul the inbound pass. Indeed. Not, not, obviously not in an unsportsmanlike way, but that would obviously send them to the line. They're only going to get two, all sorts of permutations. Yep. For 2.4 seconds, that's what you love about this game. Exactly, exactly. That's what that's what Latvia needs to not dribble the ball. It just has to be a pass and shot. So now the most important is what are they gonna create for that pass and shot. Well the other thing is do you go to Steinberger, do you go to Laxau, do you go to Diliaku? Does Diliaku bring the ball in from the end, from the sideline because she's probably the best passer they have on the floor? You gotta think it's gonna be a shot for, for Latska or Steinberger, but Interesting to see if China take the foul option or just trust themselves. Yeah. This game's at everything. Who wouldn't? 
I wouldn't even put anything past Latvia now. They'll make the three, take it over time. <laughs> They don't get an option. Mm. They're not going to get it in. They get it in. Now they're going for the two. China playing defense. China win it. That is great defensive execution by China. There no catch allowed outside the three-point line. They have somehow managed to win a game, shooting 50% from the free throw line and giving up 22 offensive boards. But they're the only two stats that number that numbers that matter. China with a 64 to 61 win. Game one of the FIBA Women's World Bas Basketball World Cup. We've had a great one. If this is anything to go by, we're going to have a great week of basketball here in Tenerife. What a performance by China. And we can see how much this loss uh, means to the Latvian team. They fought for this to get. Uh, and we have to give a credit to the Chinese young team as well that even though these two crazy statistics, shooting 58% from a foul and shot, giving up 22 offensive rebounds, their best player being on the bench most of the games because of the foul troubles. Great hustle. Bringing that, that last defensive possession the way they did. Yeah, that's what it is. Numbers doesn't lie. And to be honest, uh, I think it's... I don't want to say deserve win because... <laughs> You know, those two statistics just tell you you have loads of to improve for the next games, but great first game to watch. Well, it's one of those things, you know, here are those stats. You know, Latvia shooting 17% from the three-point line is just going to kill you. And then we're going to go to the next page where you get 22 rebounds at the offensive end. That brings you back to life. One thing for China is they did a great job in the second half taking care of the ball. Only four turnovers in the second half. And, uh, sorry, six turnovers in the second half. But uh, this Chinese team, however good they were today, not just in the rest of this tournament, they have something to build here. That's a very, very impressive roster. Looking like they're going in exactly the right direction. You know, Xiao Ting had 15 points. Han had a double, double, or had 10 rebounds. Tremendous performance by the 18-year-old in a World Cup. And you've got, she's just announced herself again in another tournament. So great performance uh, by China. And it really does put them in a good position for qualification going forward. You know, don't forget, it's a tough group. Neither of these teams would expect to win it. But uh, if you come second or third, you get that quarterfinal playoff. And that's what these teams will be looking at to achieve. These highlights that we're going to talk over Xiao Ting was just very good. They need an experienced leader, they've got one. She was, and, and if we have guards watching this tournament, they need to learn what is aggressive penetration because she has been just excellent. On the other hand, I have to say, most of her penetration was to the left side, so um, that, that comes to the question, like, why Latvia didn't close her left side and didn't force her to the right side? But, you know, who knows? We haven't been in the changing room with them. We don't know, but definitely an impressive performance uh, from uh, Xiao Ting. Well, again, the inside play of China was exceptional. Not just the uh, the real youngsters, but obviously, uh, you know, Sun Meg, Meg Lan, you know, the 27-year-old, she's 197 from the Bayi Club. And she's the experienced big. She's the person giving them that sort of leadership on the inside, a little bit of advice, that sort of that sort of scenario. But yeah. you've got to love the way this team shares the ball, gets it inside. If they can just get more physical and rebound, they're a team. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will learn from this game because if they're going to give up as many offensive rebounds in their next game, um, they're not going to be really too much in the game because Latvia wasn't the, the tallest team in this tournament and they still were able to grab those 22 offensive rebounds. So uh, that's definitely a talking point and improving point for China to the next game. It's, uh, it's an interesting one because they may not be the tallest, but they're a very physical team, aren't they, on the glass, Latvia? They, they show great physicality. Steinberger obviously is, is the great exponent of that, but everybody on this, it was like women and girls. And that, that's an aspect that obviously the Chinese will get better at as they get older. Yeah, indeed. And, and their bigs, like, um, the Chinese bigs are 19 and 18 years old, the, the ones who spend the most time on the, on the court. And, and as you said, as a, as with the size, you need to start to work now on aggressivity because then you will be unstoppable because the size they have and they're using could seriously bring you a bright future for this young generation. Well, it's, uh, 
The other aspect that really interests me about this Chinese team is the culture of the team, the, the way that this team, and we saw them even in the pressure of a World Cup, they had time to enjoy the moment. Even, you know, hands you when the ball hit to hit her on the head, it was a turnover. You know, if you're feeling pressure, that becomes like a really difficult moment. But she just laughed it off. What else could she do? Yeah, we should not forget, right? It's still cold. Basketball is a game, so it's enjoyable. All right, well, there's the effect of that. China and Latvia having played the one game. Senegal and the USA play later. It's been a great opening to the Group D, great opening to the Basketball World Cup. Uh, but for now, from Tenerife, we're going to wish you a goodbye. We'll see you shortly for Game 2. Hope you've enjoyed the first one. China with the win over Latvia. Bye for now.